Welcome. We are ready to begin in one moment. Currently, I am smudging the area with Sage Moon Water Spray made during our most recent full moon. The decks have been charged with their appropriate healing crystal. Obviously, not every reading will fit your situation each time, so all videos were given titles with intention. If you were drawn to a certain reading, then there is a message in here for you, regardless of the date. Keep watching because readings tend to shift messages as we go. Blessings to you for clicking the like, subscribe, and bell. Hi Leo and welcome to your reading. Today I will be using the Beautiful Creatures Tarot 2nd Edition. And I will be clarifying with the Daily Witch Tarot. Or the everyday witch. <laughs> right. This message is for Leo. We have the Nine of sword and Swords in reverse. The Page, page of Pentacles. Oh. Uh, two of Pentacles. Sorry, <laughs> the one, uh, one of wands. This was actually reverse, I believe, when I was pulling it out. I was flipping it the wrong way. And strength reversed. Underneath the deck, we have the five of wands. And underneath that, we have the six of wands. Um, five of Wands is kind of about, you know, like equal rivalry. Um, and Six of Wands is that victory. Uh, and under that we have the Moon. Um, kind of feeling like maybe there's illusion or some concealment with the rivalry possibly. But we'll keep this one here. Um, this is about a, a rivalry there. We've got some anxiety. Well, actually, we've got Nine of Swords reversed. Um, that's more of uh, an inner, it can be an inner turmoil, um, but it can also be releasing the worry. A deep seated. Uh, like inner, you know, you're kind of the inner turmoil there. Uh, let's see. And then this is your heart of the matter. And page of pentacles in reverse. Uh, kind of maybe some procrastination going on. Needing to learn from failure. Uh, let's go ahead and Two of Pentacles. This is, you know, you're kind of prioritizing things, being, you know, flexible. This is your current situation. This is your future uh, position. This is the Ace of Wands. This is uh, that spark of energy. This is um, spark of 
inspiration. That's the um, future. And then for the advice, we have the strength reversed. Um, and it can be anything from, you know, having low energy, um, maybe because of raw emotion or self-doubt. I don't know why. That, let's go ahead and clarify these here. Why is the Five of Wands here for Leo? And we have the Queen of Swords. Now she is, um, you know, the one, the energy that you want to be in to, you know, cut, cut things out. Um, we do have the rivalry too, so you could be kind of in a, a rivalry with someone with that energy, you know, kind of someone maybe having a sharp tongue or, um, why is the Nine of Swords in reverse? The, sun, uh, the star card in reverse. Um, it looks like you're having kind of some despair or like kind of lack of faith, you know, like the star is always about hope and faith and uh, let's see. Now the Nine of Swords, if you have having lack of faith and then the Nine of Swords in reverse is, can be inner turmoil, can be deep-seated fears. Um, it can even be secrets. You know, maybe there's a rivalry or a, something strife going on because of a, you know, you're just losing faith, maybe secrets. Why is the Page of Pentacles in reverse? Ten of Cups. Now this is the past uh, position in your spread. We've got the Page of Pentacles in reverse and, and then clarifying with the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups is kind of like your happily ever after card. Um, and then the Ace of Pentacles or I'm sorry, the Page of Pentacles in reverse is lack of lack of progress, kind of procrastinating on stuff. Let's see, why is the Two of Pentacles here? Now the Ten of Cups is, rep when I say happily ever after, that's your, it's a relationship that's complete in complete harmony. So this, this Ace of Pentacles, or the Page of Pentacles is letting me know that that's kind of what's going on is maybe there's, um, maybe a lack of harmony, we've got some strife going on, kind of. Um, the heart of the matter is just lack of faith. So we've, you're trying to keep every, you're trying to be flexible, you know, so things can work out. Uh, and it looks like you're gonna have, you know, a spark of, um, a spark of energy, a spark of inspiration. All right, we've got, we've got the Nine of Cups. That is, you know, like, wish fulfillment, it's your heart's desire, your wish card, you know, this is awesome, this is, but it came out with the seven of wands, and that is, 
um, you know, we've got some more, you know, the strife and the rivalry and, um, but sevens are kind of about, uh, you know, taking a step back to examine, you know, is this, is this worth defending? You know, is this really, these two together is, you know, making me feel like you're, you're trying to figure out, maybe weighing pros and cons here, okay? You're trying to figure out, is this really my wish? Is this really my heart's desire? You're trying to find out, or you're trying to, you know, decide if this is really worth fighting for, okay? Let's go ahead and clarify the Ace of Wands, please. Eight of Wands. So we we we're moving along. Uh, things are going to be going fast. We've got a spark of energy, and this Eight of Wands is fast movement. You know, we've moved out of the present situation is Seven of Wands. So it looks like once you're kind of weighed everything out, you're going to just start moving fast. Um, let's see. And this is um, in the spread. This represents the advice card. Um, we have the strength in reverse, um, some low energy, raw emotion, self-doubt, um, but it also can be, you know, needing to pull that inner strength. Why is the strength in reverse here? And I also want to find out what you know, once you get that energy or that spark of inspiration there, you know, let's see, let's clarify the, <laughs> we got the strength card again, um, to clarify the strength card. So that, that is telling me more along the lines of, um, instead of, you know, like, it being the self-doubt and stuff, you've got to have that that inner strength pulling, you know, deep within yourself. Um, I'd like to clarify the Ace of Wands and the Eight of Wands. The, that energy and that spark and this fast movement. You know, there's going to be a swift change. Here we go. Six of Cups. Now this is, you know, gives us a little clue. The Six of Cups is your childhood memories, you know, nostalgia. Maybe somebody's coming back in from your childhood or your, your inspiration could come from that. Maybe you're, you're kind of coming back in touch with your inner child where... You know, before life kind of comes along and kicks our butt and we get a little jaded from things and just stuff, it gets, you lose that hope, right? You know, you're, you kind of lose your faith. And I think, you know, whatever this is where you're kind of trying to decide you know, weighing the pros and cons, and is this really my heart's desire? Is this the, you know, the path I want to be on and, and fight for this and give it my all? And maybe you do, or maybe you go, you know, that isn't, maybe you're realizing that isn't my heart's desire. I want to, you know, this is what will make me happy. And once you decide that and you get that spark, um, it's, things are going to be fast, so you just have to have, it, this is all kind of within, you know, you don't doubt yourself, have that inner strength, and underneath the deck 
we have um, another clue here. It's the Five of Cups. This is the crying over spilled milk. You know, she's over here totally, you know, losing faith here. It's kind of what I was saying. You've got a, you've got two cups over here that are not spilled. Um, and then the sun card underneath that. Uh, okay, I'm going to pick an uh, angel card here for you. For the advice. Can we get a little more advice? Excuse me, advice for Leos, please. Awesome. Ooh, two of them. We've got the Queen of Earth and the Knight of Earth. So this is um, Pentacles. Um, and I like to use these cards for advice because they have like a little thing here. The Queen of Earth, um, her energy is very creative, uh, thoughtful, warm, very sensible. Um, and we've got the Knight of Earth, very loyal and dedicated, honorable, kind. And it says, time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitments. Um, it also says, Guardian Angel. So, and then this one, make time for those around you. Take a sensible approach, deal with challenges in a kind and understanding matter. So this, re, you know, this is telling me be very um, dedicated to your commitments, um, but do it in a warm, in a warm way if you're needing to, you know, approach things, um, not in the not in the Queen of Swords way that we have here, you know, where there's a rivalry and stuff like that. Um, that's not going to, we, you know, we kind of maybe need to get in touch with our, um, our heart's desire. Find out, you know, what we're really wanting, what really is going to make us happy and what we want to fight for. Um, you know, to, to gain our... We want to turn this around. We want to get some faith and some hope. Let's see. And underneath the deck, we have the Knight of Air, which would be the Knight of Swords. Um, he is very decisive. It says, events that occur with great speed take time to carefully review your options. Or... I'm sorry, events that occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options, and that seems like what you're doing here. Uh, review your options, and then uh, it, we've got creative solutions, okay? So I think that's some good advice because we know things are going to be moving fast, so you really want to, you know, weigh, weigh your pros and cons or look at all your options, Um Let's see what else. Let me. Is there any more advice for Leo, please? Oh. Queen of Fire. Um, she's very warm. Very confident, intelligent, graceful energy. Uh, the Queen of Fire is the Queen of Wands. It says, stretch your wings and fly. Don't underestimate yourself. Assert your independence and creativity. We got a lot of, um, wasn't, I thought I read something of, oh, the Queen of Earth um, has creative in there as well. And, you know, that, this Ace of Wands is about spark of energy. You know, you might have a, a new idea or, some, you know, something. Maybe with someone from your past or you're, you're kind of getting more in touch with your, your inner child or your more of, you know, what will make you happy and your life's purpose. 
Thank you so much, Leo. I love doing this reading. It was beautiful, and I hope to see you again.